I'm new, come back better than last year. It's a new me, never gonna look back. Hey there, Internet Keep here. Welcome to the Cars and Keep YouTube channel. And I'm very excited because this is the cheap wash cart build version one. Now we've done all of the research in previous videos for the hose, the gun, the pressure washer, and all that kind of stuff. We have it all together now. We have our cart. We're gonna put it together, show you how it all is, kind of give you a rough estimate of how much it cost as well, and then you could do whatever you want. You don't have to do this setup. This is just the easiest setup. I found the easiest way to do this with as little fittings as possible, as little work as possible for you, a very easy setup. Then you can add down the road, you can add a reel, uh, you can add uh, better this, better that. I mean, whatever you wanna do. So let's get right into the video. So before we get any further into the video, as you can see all this stuff here, it cost me about 300 bucks. Uh, I did only pay 25 bucks for uh, that one in a pallet auction. But I did invest a lot of money in this, so if you could, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Any of this stuff will be available on Amazon. There will be links below as well. Let's get into it. So here is the two pressure washers that I've chosen. Uh, the $94 Portland from Harbor Freight and the $1700 Greenworks from Lowe's. $99, bucks, $94. $112 bucks on Amazon. This one I have not seen on Amazon, but there is a 1500 PSI version that's really nice and much smaller, and it has about the same performance. So I'll add that link below as well because that one's just as good. Garden hose quick disconnects, probably about 10 bucks or so. These hooks were about $11, there's four of them. So two for the hose and two for the electrical. This combo gun and foam cannon were about 30 bucks. They were 27 bucks on sale sometimes. This hose was about $50, I think $52. Already comes with three inch female on that side, three inch female on that side. And it comes with the amazing 14 millimeter fitting here with three inch female, which allows you to hook up this entire setup without buying any new fittings. Everything comes with that hose, except for those garden hose quick disconnects, but that's easy. Now, the reason I haven't showed you the cart put together yet is because I wanted to show you these before they were put on. This is the main reason I bought this cart. So this cart was a hundred bucks on Amazon, but at the time I bought it, it was on a 15% um, checkbox uh, savings. So right now it's hundred bucks, but I did buy it for $85 at the time. They come and go, the sales, but these casters, the quality of these casters, they're big, tall, so you can go over things. You're not stuck with a really small wheel, uh, nice soft material that's gonna glide and not make a ton of noise. Two of them lock and two of them don't, but all four of them swivel. I wanted the polycarbonate here. It's easier to drill into, easier to modify than a metal one like that one right there. Cart is together and let me tell you what, how smooth that is. That's nice. Deep trays, about the same height as my previous one. It's actually a little bit taller, but the bottom of the trays match up height-wise because this one's much deeper. Now you can get ones like that for about $60, $65. Really tough to put together uh, and just kind of flimsy. This is really nice for hundred bucks. Like I said, I got it on sale for 85. All done simple, but effective. It doesn't break your wallet like a BMW. <laughs> like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rass in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. And there she is, everything you need for a cheap wash cart build. You have your pressure washer, you have your hose, the uh, holder for the cord, you have a foam cannon, and a spray gun. Now it's up to you to decide what chemicals and all that kind of stuff you're going to have in the top tray. This is just your base setup. And you don't have to modify it as much as I did. You don't even have to drill anything. I just made it to where I wanted that to be secure, and I wanted the quick connects to be able to be really easy to use. That's what you're going to do. The whole point of this is to bring this close to a water source or an electrical source, either or, or you could be in the middle between both. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the point is, is to make things easier. So you have to go back and forth to the garage. Everything you need is right here. Keep it close enough to the car so you don't have to get as much hose off, but also far enough away where you're not spraying foam from that side of the car over onto the cart. Right here's a good spot. Lock. 
heels. As you can see, I've modified the cart to accept the M22 fitting that's on the unit and it comes through. And then I've also used a couple of zip ties to kind of secure it to the cart so that when we're using the quick disconnects, it doesn't move all over the place. We also have the hose right here with three inches male that connects to this. I have it this way because this kind of gives you a little bit of tension so it's going to make it easier to wind up your hose. Also store away so when it's not sticking out when you're trying to uh, store it. And if you want to use it, you just pull it out and then connect it. There we go. Also on this side, I have a zip tie here. I, I, they drilled holes. I've modified this so you don't have to do that. You can let it sit here. You'll just need two hands to secure one on the unit so you can do your quick disconnects. Like this one is secured to the point where I can just flip that in there. And then I also have the shutoff valve here as well that will work well. Uh, this is a new upgrade that I've done. Uh, the other one kind of wore out an O-ring and I decided I'm just go ahead and buy these. It's like 13 bucks for two of them. So now I have two really heavy duty, much larger. Um, the cart is just really sturdy and uh, the electrical you would take off from here. I fed the, the wire through here, but it just wraps around. I'm not going to show you how to do that. That's pretty easy, but this allows you to wrap around if you got a socket at the house right there or a socket in the garage just works out perfect this just helps you secure it a little bit right here running it through there now if you wrap it just like this i know that each circle is about four feet or so right so i know i'm going to need about 25 to 30 feet so i'm going to grab about six rings or so of this off and then i'll leave the rest here And the way I have it wound, I made it easy on myself. I'll take this one off too. Now, we can pull out our hose. We'll do a few twists. And there we go. And we should have enough to go all the way around the car to catch this side. And then when we work the front, we'll come closer to the cart and work our way this way, pulling our hose out and then working our way to the front of the car. We can also actually reach the majority of this side of the car as well. And you saw how much hose we still have left on the cart. Now you could fashion this pressure washer any way you wanted, left, right, forward, backward. I just thought this was the best way to give me that quick disconnect coming out this way so I can connect on the outside of the cart. Uh, my hose connection is never a leak, so it really doesn't matter where it's at. Now if you have a hose connection that leaks, you're probably gonna have that one to be on the outside. This also allows me to easily turn the unit on and off and it just works out great this way. I have plenty of room on this side so my hose doesn't need to uh, have any angle or anything it's nice and straight now your gun connects to the hose on that side you hook up your nozzle that comes with the unit uh, or any specified nozzle that you want to use i'm using a 3.0 with the portland works pretty good so now let's show you how we wrap the cord pretty easy the hose is coming from the front here or wherever you're going to have it i prefer to run it underneath like this once that first loop is set you're good to go you set your however much distance you want and then you just copy <laughs> Also, you can do it your own way. Everybody has their own way of wanting to do it. Neighbor, as normal. Now you could roll it up and then land it onto the hanger. I prefer this way because it's just easier to take it off when you're wanting to wash. Well, there she is, right next to her big brother. And actually, big brother is fixing to go through some changes as well for version four or five of this cart. So I think it's just great start, right? So you have a very little actually to get to 300 bucks. Uh, if you get the right sales and everything. The cart is really sturdy, it's nice polycarbonate. The wheels are real nice. Uh, the cord is nice and long from the Portland. The hose is nice, the fittings came all together. I did modify the cart, I did drill holes all over the place. You don't have to do that. Uh, you can just lay the hose in here. You can just leave it the way it is. You don't have to do any modifications.
Now I secured it and I drilled the holes in there because I wanted an easy, quick access to the quick disconnects and I didn't want the unit to move all over the place. Now if you were going to use the Greenworks 1700 that I showed earlier in the video, obviously you would have to modify differently because the ports are on different sides. They're not in the middle like the Portland is. They're kind of off center. If you were to use any other pressure washer, I'm not suggesting that you use those or any other cart. This is just an idea, right? And if you wanted to have it like this, I would be able to show you the easiest way to get this done. You can go on any tangent that you want to. You can put a reel on here, you can do this, you can do that. But the whole point of the cheap wash cart build is for people who don't do this all the time or don't have the money. Uh, if you're doing this constantly, then you're probably gonna wanna upgrade a little bit better. You're gonna wanna have a little bit better equipment, but this works perfect. Actually, this cart, I think would work good on any level. It's maybe your pressure washer you may wanna change, uh, the gun you may wanna change, um, the hose actually is pretty good. You may add a reel. This is pretty sturdy plastic, so you're not a problem. The one thing you need to watch out for is the deepness of the trays on this cart. And some of the other carts are pretty deep. If you put a pressure washer on the bottom, when you put your connections in, you're not going to be able to do it sideways because the connections are going to go over into that uh, tray and then there's going to be too much bend. You're either going to add some elbows if you want it to be mounted that way or put it in the middle and you can feed both sides. Or like I did, feed one side out through a modified hole and then you'd have plenty of room on the other side. That, having it all the way up against the side like that really helps later on when you're wanting to add a reel. But I would probably mount this opposite if I had a reel. I would have the water hose coming through the side of the cart and I would have the connection to the hose reel come on the inside of the cart. Pretty easy modification. I made the hole to where it works with both sides so that works great. Now there's really not much else to say. Like I said, it's pretty simple. There's a lot of people going here and I didn't build this just to build it. I, this is my cart for the bottom garage downstairs. This is where I'm gonna uh, wash my lawn mowers and you know all kinds of tools and equipment that I have on the bottom garage where I store all that stuff and have another pressure washer down there because I have two driveways. I have two spigots so I could have two setups. I have the one up here and the one down there. All this is available, Amazon links in the description below. Also the pressure washer available at uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, the Greenworks available at Lowe's. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. I found the easiest way to do this with as little, little which worked out really well. Yeah, you guessed it, the neighbor. Yep, interrupted again. But she's got food, so it's all good. 1700, I don't, yeah. But the, the. Ooh. There she is, everything you. Guess who's back. Got a lot of noise over there. Now like. Now the great thing about having, now the great thing about having the hang, now the great thing about the, now the great thing about the having, oh my gosh. Ah, yeah, this is what I gotta deal with all the time. I just wanted to make my life easier. I wanted to be able to take my quick disconnects and, oh.